and television dude here and this is a package video and a belated pickups video uh, before we get started I have a question does anybody out there in YouTube land have a spare Grand Theft Auto 4 map I bought it uh, for the uh, Xbox 360 I bought the complete edition even though I, I hear the, the posters on the maps are different for each edition, but I could really care less about the poster part. I just want the map. I guess there's like uh, the Liberty City map on one side, something about the subway map on the other side, but it's missing. You know, And I am looking for it, so if anybody has one that they don't want anymore, let me know. Uh, some of the stuff I am not sure if I've showed before or if I haven't showed before, but I'm going to show it anyway. Let's let's get with the package first because that's the important thing here. Got a package from Blueberry Burrito. Blueberry Burrito. He is a good friend of mine. Very good friend of mine. We did a trade, and I haven't sent his stuff out yet, but I will shortly. And I believe he, he hinted at the fact that he was going to put some extras in here. Now, right off the bat, I want to say that he's he has a reputation of packing things too well. So well that it takes a long time just to get into them. I told him he didn't have to go through such great lengths this time, <laughs> jokingly. But, oh, there's a chance that he may have anyway, just for humor. Popular Mechanics Magazine, huh? There's a note in here. I don't know. I, I have a habit of not including notes anymore. That little bugger. Little... I see what some of the extras are. Combat. <laughs> Combat. Combat! Another combat! And another combat! How many more are there? Is that all the combats? That's enough combat for today, Jim. Now I probably have close to 40 combats in my collection now, thanks to all these people. I don't know what I'm going to do with all of them. All of them. So let's see, it might be, I think I only traded for uh, a couple things, so he, there's, there's still some more extras. Here's an extra. <laughs> I don't know what this is. We're eating more beets. Weekend guide? Uh, is this comedy? A Doonesbury book, okay. Let's see here. Cool. I don't know much about Doonesbury. I'm afraid to say it. But I'll make sure I take a look at it. More extras. What in the heck is this? Oh, it's a Super Mario Brothers keychain thingy. Does it work? Doesn't seem to turn on. Oh, it hasn't even been turned on yet. It had the pull thing in there. It's brand new. Can't see it from the angle. But it does seem to kind of work. It's really weak and faded, but it might be something going on there. It's hard to see. I, I can see it now if I tilt it. Cool. I gotta figure out how to turn it off now. Okay, what else we got in here? This one is tight, packaged really well, so that was part of the deal. <laughs> I think he sent me the most rare NES game of all time. 
in an immaculate condition. Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt. With a hole in the front. It's cracked on the side. You can see inside. And it says Skip Rogers on the back. Are you Skip Rogers? Are you watching this? If you are, you really kept good care of your games, I tell you. Hey, Skip. Now the game that this part of this trade was for is packaged too tightly. I can't get into it. It's got too much tape on it. How in the heck? Just a Game Boy game. All this tape is not necessary, Jim. Jeez. Now I can't reuse this, bu this bubble wrap. I like to reuse my bubble wrap. Now this bubble wrap's gonna go thrown away. Thanks a lot, Jim. I gotta buy some more bubble wrap. Ah, this is one of the games this trade was for. Cas uh, yeah, Castlevania 2 Belmont's Revenge for the Game Boy. I have heard that it's actually a pretty damn good Castlevania game. They did a really good job on this one, I heard. So, I've always wanted it, so now I have it. And this right here, which is something I owned before, but I I foolishly traded it away or sold it before I actually bought it. Oh, actually, there's two games in here. I forgot about the other one. I could actually reuse this bubble wrap because he didn't over tape it like the other package. Yes, I'm kidding. Whatever. Oh, here's Monster Rancher. I never owned the first one before. Now I'm glad to finally own it. I only had the second one back in the day. And. Dragon Heart, Dra Dragon Heart. Where did I get Dragon Heart from? Dragon Quest Eight, Journey of the Cursed King. I bought this because I thought it sounded like a game I would like and I would get into. And then before I even popped it in one time to play it, I sold it foolishly without even getting into it. And then I, I regretted that decision. So now I have it again, and I'm happy to own it again. This time I won't get rid of it so quickly. Now, on to some bladed pickups that I haven't been showing off. So, I Hopefully I'm not showing some of this stuff twice. So I'll start with this first. This came from my friend today. He came over today and gave me this. As a gift. Some Transformers. Let's see what this guy is. I... It's got a head of some sort. And I guess it's got to transform, but you, you can see that it's got the uh, his arms there, his legs there. It's not fully transformed, but close enough. Some smaller ones, or a smaller one at least. Let's see here. Maybe some pieces have fallen off and broken. Th this one might be broken, but it's a, it's a bird one. Because the other wing's there, and wherever these two pieces go, not sure if it's complete, even if it's broken or not broken. It might not be complete, but let's see. Or I don't know if it goes to this guy or not. He said its head was in the bottom of the bag and had to be glued back on. But he got these for pretty cheap, I guess. Yeah, the, the, the knob thing that goes in there is gone. So his head pretty much just sits on top there. Ah, the headless transformer. Pretty cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't think this bird goes to that. I think that's a totally different thing altogether. But pretty cool. So thank you for that. Head fell, the arm fell on the floor. 
We'll mess with that later. Uh, yeah, I already mentioned Grand Theft Auto 4. I'm going to be playing this soon. But, cause that, but at the moment, I'm playing Super Paper Mario, finally. I meant, I think I, I think I showed this in the last Pickles video, but I hadn't got around to playing it yet. Now I'm playing it, and I'm already going on the World 7, I believe, so that's what I'll be starting next. And I also bought Grand Theft Auto 5. I bought this, and I didn't buy it for Sega Superstars Tennis. I bought it for what's on the flip side, which is the Xbox Live Arcade, because it has oops, the Pac-Man Pac Championship Edition, which is that really awesome Pac-Man uh, game. With, like, it's all shiny neon, and there's like all kinds of ghosts to eat, and you hit them in multipliers and things. It's really crazy, and that's pretty much what I bought that for. It's also got Feeding Frenzy, which is like the... Uh, a ripoff of Shark Shark on the Intellivision. So that's really cool. And uh, out of recommendation, I got L.A. Noir. I heard this is great, and I'd probably like it. Sounds like it's something up my alley. And uh, one that's coming in the mail soon is going to be Splatterhouse. Because I heard it's got... Not only does it have Splatterhouse 2 and 3 for the Genesis, but it also has the original arcade game. I still need to get a Splatterhouse for the TurboGrafx-16. I heard that's a different game altogether. And I picked me up a Xbox 360 controller. Cause, and the one that, that came with the system ended up not working correctly. The analog stick wasn't detecting up or down, just left and right. So I, I got this one at, at a great Black Friday deal on Newegg.com. I, I think I paid like 30 bucks for the wired one, which was kind of cheap considering what they usually go for. Uh, what'd I do with those? There's one of them. What? Now I got all this stuff up here and I'm losing things. Well, I can't find it right off the bat, but it might be up here somewhere. I got two of these. They're just memory sticks. I don't even know why I'm showing these, but I'm using it for the Xbox. I even updated my Xbox hard drive because the 20 gigs... 20 gig was not going to be big enough whatsoever. Oh, and I just dropped something. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Uh, some other things that I have picked up recently. Where are they? Where's everything? I got these Nintendo Powers. There's the other memory stick. I got some Nintendo Powers because I've always wanted some of the Mario RPG ones. And I got Super Mario RPG. Which I believe the poster is intact in this one, thank God. Uh, just some random ones. The first issue of Nintendo Power Advance. This one's Mario Kart, but it also has the beginning... Uh, no, that's a different one. I was thinking of this, of a different one. Uh, might be the other one. I, I know one of them had uh, Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga... Uh, strategy in there. I guess that wasn't the one. Uh, this one's got Circle the Moon preview, which I think is awesome too. This one has Mario and Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, I wouldn't mind having those as well, the Mario and Luigi ones. Uh, just a random one that just came in the lot. Ones I don't really care about so much. And some of the newer ones. So they're still cool to read though. I like I like looking at them. This one is the first, it's it's the preview of Super Mario RPG before it came out, before they got all their information correct. And I think that is really interesting. Let's see if I can find it here. Because in this, they actually said that it wouldn't be turn-based. They thought it would be uh, differently. I think they thought the action would be different than turn-based. Uh, they thought it would be more like Link to the Past. But maybe they were on the right track, I don't know. The gameplay features traditional RPG elements such as exploring and talking to characters. There'll be a lot of action too. 
But they thought it would be closer to, to Link to the Past, which I'm not so sure. Don't quote me on anything. And there, there were some other things they had incorrect as well. But now I don't feel like going through it. <laughs> I'll do that in a, maybe in a separate video one day. Uh, this one, what did this one have? This is about the first Mara Party. Mara Party 1, when it first came out. Uh, here's the one with the beginning of Superstar Saga Epic Strategy. Uh, it's just part one, though. I guess you'd have, you'd have to get the other issues to get the other part of that strategy. And I got the Thousand Year Door one. But it's missing the poster. I, and I believe the poster, the outside of it anyway, has to do with the Thousand Year Door. I, I Unless I'm incorrect on that, but the, the colors seem to indicate that it could be part of the uh, Thousand Year Door in that crease right there. Tar I don't know for sure. So I, now I almost want to track down a copy with the poster. Now I'm only missing Paper Mario on the N64 and some odds and ends that I wouldn't mind having. Stuff that's not necessary, but... All this packing material's in my way. Let's put this in this box here so I can get back to showing you what I want to show you. It's covering everything. Okay. Uh, some random things like some Game Boy games. I did get a copy of Donkey Kong in a, in a random lot of games. It's a really cool game, plus it has the original Donkey Kong Arcade at the beginning with the Pie Factory. I also got Hyper Load Runner, which is just, uh, it's, real, it's really similar to the NES one. Really similar. A game I haven't even tried yet, it's called Katamari. But I heard it's really awesome because you, uh, you're rolling around stuff in the scenery. That, that sounds like a lot of fun. I need to get to that soon. Oh, uh, a couple more Game Boy games. I got uh, Operation C, Contra, which I heard is... Uh, both the ones on the Game Boy I heard are great. This one and Alien Wars I hear are really, really, really good. Uh, Harry Potter. I like the Harry Potter movies. I don't know if I'm in the minority or the majority. I don't know. But I love the movies. And this I hear is like, this is an RPG. And it got great reviews. So I was like, hey, awesome. We got Monster Rancher 3. I got this, this in a lot of PS2 games. I don't know if I showed that one or not. I, like I said, I only owned two back in the day, but I always wanted the other ones. So maybe I'll get around to that eventually. Monster Rancher Evo was in the same lot, I think. Uh, this one, I don't know if I'm going to keep or not. I haven't tried it yet. Don't even know what it is, actually. I think I showed this last time, but I'll show it again. Eternal Darkness for the GameCube. I only tried it once back in the early 2000s, but don't remember it too well. We got Breath of Fire 3. Thought I'd give that a shot. It's in a fake uh, case with printed artwork. For the PS1. Scarface. I guess got this in a lot of PS2 games. So I, th I think I'll, I'll keep a hold of this one. This looks like it'd be awesome. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, an RPG with Disney characters. I thought what, you know, this has been out for quite a while and never tried it. I think it's about time. And this isn't a fake case, but it's a GameStop case, but it's Castlevania Lament of Innocence and uh, Cobra DVS tells me I need to get the one on the Xbox 360 as well uh, I already forgot the name of it he's probably gonna yell at me for that but oh, Lords of Shadow is what it was isn't that what it is Lords of Shadow he, he he considers it one of his favorite games that he's played so I might have to get that one day and I guess I'll also show you I, I usually don't show this stuff, but I'll show you four items that I have for sale on eBay at the moment. I have a copy of Wormwomper. 
which I might have to go down the price of. Body Slam, I might have to go on the, down on the price of that too. Copy of uh, Splatterhouse 2, but it's got a bad label on it, but hey. But it's Splatterhouse 2, and it plays wonderfully, so. It's, it's all about what's on the inside. And a copy of Mega Man 6. And I believe that is everything. So I guess I gotta, since you'll be watching the video later, I gotta thank Ivan for the Transformers. Really cool. And of course, Blueberry Burritos for the awesome trade and extras. And there, there could be more pickups that I've forgotten, but I keep forgetting things every time I do a video. Maybe next time I'll remember whatever I've forgotten. Oh, I finally got the Hobbit DVD. I got the uh, the four disc ext extended edition, and I'm very happy for that because I really like that movie, and I'm really hyped for the uh, next one to come out here uh, this week. At the end of this week, I'll probably go see it Monday though when the when it's not as busy. <laughs> so I guess I've rambled on long enough. So that's the end of this video. So thanks for watching.